Under beautifully decorated canvas, food is readied, lanterns are lit, and all set for the most important part of the day, the breaking of the fast. Iftar tents like this are where we come with friends and family during the holy month of Ramadan to savor the first food and drink to pass our lips since before the sunrise. It's a time I think that brings the best in people. This is one rather luxurious way to break your fast. And here's another. The largest iftar gathering in the UAE. We are here at the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque at the tents that have been set up to prepare these meals for any member of the community that wants to come and break their fast here. During the holy month, the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque distribute over half a million iftar meals. As well as the meals that are being provided for members of the community, health checkups are being offered for all who attend. Whoa. Whoa. After a full day's work, Emirati National Hamid who has been volunteering at the mosque for the past five years, joins to help serving the meals. We do it here every year to help being a productive person in our society because uh, it, it is increase our ethics and awareness about the societies. People from far and wide start to gather from late afternoon. All members of the community are welcome. When you see non-Muslims and Muslims coming together at an Islamic iftar, how does that make you feel as a Muslim? It feels very good that it's, uh, it will come, uh, bring us closer to understand each other. We have already got our spots and it's 5.45 p.m. There's still an hour and a half left till the Adhan, which signals the breaking of the fast. But these tents that are set up in the Sheikh Zayed Mosque expect up to 30,000 people so it's important to get your place quick. We all wait quietly and patiently for the sun to set. Fasting is physically tiring work. And for me, this is the hardest part of the day. Finally, the time has come and the fast is broken. Remember, this is the first food and water we've had for over 14 hours. The trick is to go slow to savor each taste. What strikes me about being at such a large gathering is sitting with so many people. We have all different backgrounds, even different religions, but we're connected by this common experience, all together. To me, this is the true essence of Ramadan. People coming together from all walks of life, regardless of religion, in the name of peace, tolerance, and understanding. Within an hour, these tents will be empty, and everyone will have gone home. And all that'll be left is for the volunteers to clean up and gear up to do it all over again tomorrow. And the next day, and the next, for the rest of Ramadan.